Welcome to Maxim Grunin Art. I'm Maxim Grunin and uh, I will create an art project, a painting, and uh, it's a kind of a transformation, a transformation of a previous painting. Like um, I would make a, a study or a little painting or a large painting and then I would have um, this idea that it needs something else. It needs a complete overhaul, a complete transformation. And uh, in the past, this is how I found um, this kind of original content that's characteristic to my work. And not only to my work, because sure, their uh, mixture of abstraction and figurative art exists um, in the big art world, in our world out there. Well, in the past, I noticed that I wanted to have a more creative, more playful, more inventive approach to some of my work. I thought that it was a little uh, too focused, maybe too rigid as a mindset. I would like try to make these um, uh, realistic looking landscapes and for for what reason? And it, I was tired, maybe, I don't know if I was tired of that, but I wanted um, new blood in my creative process to enter. And so I thought up this um, uh, concept. What if I was to introduce a um, human figure, a human head, or elements of the body what if i was to introduce whimsical symbolic characters like graffiti text what if i was to like write a poem and then include that in my work like you know write it out on canvas and then that's how this kind of uh, mindset came about for me. So here I am uh, opening this process up to you. And uh, I think it's a pretty interesting and uh, fun way to um, introduce like another dimension to my work or to your work so here i am choosing um, uh, to include a face uh, i picked um, the angle of the f woman's head from a magazine that was suitable in my mind i'm like okay i like how she's looking this way and it's gonna go well with the uh, with the existing image of this uh orangey brown and black and you know that fall color landscape and i thought if i was to paint uh, this new addition of a character into this painting i would like to use a different color palette like everything in the painting is a warm uh warm colors yellow brown orange ochre red browns reds greens lots of yellow in all of these colors a warm palette so um i am thinking then let's contrast that let's create color contrast with mm, cooler palette so i decided to go with a kind of purple kind of gray purple and white and black to uh, start working on the addition of the face so mm, the process is uh, I kind of have a really good idea 
to how and what I'm going to do, but I will kind of get into my mind and I will try to bring it out for you, break it, break it uh, up for you, and we'll look in uh, to what is it that I'm doing. So I am mixing a neutral lighter a version of uh, between purple black and white so some you know the background is already a little dark so i want uh, contrast so i'm mixing that lighter purple gray and then i'm drawing out the human um, skull uh, i'm representing it like kind of an oval and um, soon right away i am introducing the area where the hair is and where the neck is going to be so i am thinking of large form first so i'm trying to get the entirety of the head that i'm placing into my composition then i am also fairly briefly distributing a shadow on one side and then mid-tone and light on the other side so i am giving myself a kind of a lead in three dimensional properties so light to dark kind of large information now at uh, at this point i am uh, taking darker uh, variations of this purple gray and I am indicating drawing into this bigger form to show where the eyes the eyebrows the nose and the lips are going to be and um, then I am filling the shadow the lighter or darker areas that are residing within you know the depression like a valley darker area around the eye will be a little darker under the nose is gonna be darker upper lip is gonna be darker it's facing away from the light then the lower lip is lighter and then there is a bit of a shadow under that and then there is shadow under the chin and the neck is darker and so i proceed to a kind of model modeling in painting is it refers to 3d modeling where i am kind of trying to make the form appear three-dimensional it's a two-dimensional surface the canvas but uh, i would like mm, there to be an illusion of form so i'm modeling that form as if i'm sculpting it with the str brush strokes that follow the form notice how i'm building different areas of the head Mm, on different angles like I'm cutting in on this type of diagonal I am cutting uh, that way I am making a rounded gesture I am also adding uh, the background adjusting the background beside the face to support the the, the face there is uh, the contour the edge of the head is a bit lighter or mid-tone so the background is getting um, darker elements and kind of pushing away from from the face and uh, then i employ a smaller brush and then i go back again into each of the areas that i just finished painting so i go back to them and i refine them i bring in smaller elements of shadow light and mid-tone it's like as if i am zooming in on the smaller areas as if they were big imagine if you had a microscope then these small areas will appear appear large and then they would get 
the gradient and the modeling of the 3D information uh, to to build for them. So as you know, I'm working away and getting things in place, and at some point, the the face is balanced. I got enough light, enough midtone, enough shadow. I got enough attention to the detail and enough sensitivity and expressive qualities. So at some point I am satisfied with the image that I painted. So it's good to stand back from time to time, get a, a like a, a really good idea whether I'm liking what I'm making and how it's going with the rest of the image and is there anything else I would like to add? Oh, let's come back and uh, work a little bit on here or there. Sure, all of this is possible. Now I am starting to think what else is going to appear in the painting. And uh, I noticed in the past, I really like this process, is I just take uh, really bright, uh, saturated colors and I use, and I get a palette knife. And I start uh, thinking, oh, uh, I'm going to get into these flat areas and bring some um, uh, swirls and splashes and strokes of color into those areas. So I'm almost ready to do that. I think I'm doing that. And this is where uh, the picture is gaining another layer of information. These abstract strokes, addition of really lively, really active, really colorful information. And I use my sense of uh, balance, my creative um, uh, interest, I used to seek out the areas that would be good to work into. So I want to preserve some of the background information, but I want to, uh, for the face, I wanted to merge a little bit with with the background so I'm using like yellow and orange and red and white and other colors mixing them and trying to kind of um, connect things together incorporate things together with with the use of these abstract connectors and I'm waiting to see uh, also for a type of balance to happen. Um, I am taking a good look at, oh, I don't know, you know, maybe a tiny bit more yellow here, maybe a tiny bit more white here, and uh, then I am kind of getting ready to to think, okay, sit back and take a break and think, is it working? What am I really seeing? Mm, what else would I like to see there? And now I'm thinking about adding even smaller elements and maybe bringing the painting to completion. And I'm thinking, what would be... Uh, another element to include or more than one element to include in this painting and I often kind of brush up on the things on the thoughts in my head and I pick out of like topmost information I'm, I'm thinking oh she's got a curious look and uh you know she like the the female 
face is ultimately uh, mother nature or the inner feminine so you know it's not a, anyone in particular but then oh i am going to um find a picture of a cat and see which like find a cat would it would in a pose or in a type of movement that i'm gonna like so the cat is really coming in and so i go ahead and uh, uh look up uh several images choose uh, appropriate image uh locate an area where i would like the figure of the cat to appear and i start um, sketching the the figure of the animal right into the existing picture and um, how does that work so i draw the skeletal kind of uh, form of the animal um, the torso the legs the neck the head the tail i am trying to get general f a shape like the biggest the outlines like the entire shape the silhouette in then i am taking a uh, darker color to go on the outside of that just created shape and i am like cutting outlining cutting back into it further developing all of the features of this um, new element um, at some point i am satisfied with the overall um, element i think the the cat is cat like okay it's got catness about it I am now going to distribute shadow within the animal's figure, mid-tone, then I'm gonna finish with uh, highlights, maybe I will leave, uh, maybe I will leave a lot of the areas uh, kind of sketched, kind of fresh and uh, freshly painted and lively. I kind of like that about painting that why should a, you know in my mind i i ask why should a painting be too refined why would that happen uh what what about it i personally i love the vivid expressive uh brief uh lively gestural quality to 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 the handmade surface so you know bringing bringing that element to element to completion and looking at uh, near you know final touches maybe a few like thinner lines little elements elsewhere let's look at the overall picture let's uh even sometimes i would come back the next day or a few days later and uh, make just really tiny tiny kind of touch-ups adjustments something will will catch the eye and it would leave me uh, wanting to improve or take something to the next level just a little bit and uh, i'm leaving room for that you know so here we are exploring how a full transformation of the previous project has occurred and uh, this is uh, the example of how i often create my figurative landscape abstract uh, whimsical combinations and creations that that i often create I am I'm actually enjoying this image a lot more now than the way it was before 
it was just the two just just the landscape um study sure but what else can we do with this let's yeah so i want to show you another painting of mine uh, that is uh, done in a similar mode so this is uh also there is a, a head a human head a female image of a female there the you know the archetypal feminine the inner feminine the mother element the earth the universe mother nature element in a playful and whimsical way is portrayed in that painting and then a, a kind of cityscape elements are added um uh, the trees added a unicorn is on her shoulder there is the coffee cup with steaming drink in it that i just had and it's flying through the space of the painting and those are those are the images that i also make i i make them like anywhere from small studies like that to like pretty giant size paintings um this is uh, this is fun and play this is uh, the favorite toys colorful areas on canvas creating inventing imagining and growing personally and creatively so thanks for joining me for this demo tutorial mm, studio visit